one day the tech news came for me. And now I'm trapped in this void, forced to read cringy intros like this one. It's not, it's okay. Forever! In recent years, Intel has appeared to fall behind, getting stuck on 14 and 10 nanometer process nodes as its competitors move on to seven and five nanometers. The obvious solution? Rename your products to sound more competitive. Hey, wait a second. Of course, this actually makes more sense than it seems. Intel's processor technology is in fact very similar to TSMC and Samsung's in terms of transistor density, since these process node names don't really refer to actual transistor size anymore, not since 22 nanometer. Intel laid out a roadmap outlining the new naming scheme with Intel 7, 4, and 3, replacing 10 nanometer, 7 nanometer, and so on, and eventually being replaced by Intel 20A, with the A standing for the angstrom unit of measurement. Okay, so we're going back to units at some point. 10 of which make up one nanometer. You knew that. that doesn't sound metric. If you're confused, Dr. Ian Cutras has a good explanation because he is a massive nerd. nerd. And that accent makes him smarter. The rebranding is the latest move by new CEO, Pat Gelsinger extraordinaire, to get Team Blue back on track. And so far, his campaign seems to be working. Intel's new foundry division just announced it will be producing x86 and ARM chips for Qualcomm and Amazon. And I thought that was gonna be a list, but it's not. Somebody give this man a Pat Gelsinger on the back. Yeah. Californians looking to order high-end Alienware gaming PCs, there's dozens of us, online are being met with a notice saying that Dell can't ship those products to their state due to power consumption regulations. And it's not just California. Dell isn't shipping the Aurora R10 or R12 to Colorado, Hawaii, Oregon, Vermont, or Washington, Washington the state, not DC. The good one, DC. either. It's not a state, actually, DC. It's fun a district. Fun fact. It's right in the name. So what gives? Do these states just hate PC gamers? I mean, what else is there to do in Vermont? Whoa. Visit Bernie Sanders' house? That's where Bernie Sanders is from. <laughs> the man is a museum. Actually, it looks like Dell is to blame here. These states have enacted minimum power efficiency requirements for electronics that were announced in 2016, supported by an organization called the Information Technology Industry Council which has HP, Intel, Dell, and Lenovo among its members. Dell knew these regulations were coming for years and apparently did not prepare by building these systems with rule abiding power supplies, which many of their competitors did do. There's also much more to the story, so stay tuned for a Linus Tech Tips video dedicated on the subject where Linus gets very angry about something or, you know, he's, yeah. the, you know what he does. That's him. <laughs> And LG, once at the top of the smartphone manufacturer heap, is going to sell iPhones and other Apple products in its South Korean stores. What? They have stores? The announcement comes months after LG officially exited the smartphone business, and I guess Apple approached them as they were crying in the alley uh, behind computer headquarters, and, and they made their dastardly a preposition. Hey, chin up, what's up? A deal with the devil? <laughs> The news surely won't be celebrated by Samsung, who has enjoyed somewhat of a duopoly over the South Korean phone market with LG, and will now have to compete more heavily with Apple in the country, now that you can actually buy them more easily. Can you imagine if LTT was reduced to reposting videos from MKBHD? That's what this is like. Can you imagine? Wouldn't be that bad. What time of day would they even come out? We're on Pacific. O'Reilly, what time is it? Now it's time for Quick Bits, brought to you by NZXT's build system, which makes getting a custom built PC easier than ever, even if you're like a Mac person. It's okay, we forgive you. Simply set your budget, see how your PC will perform in your favorite games, and let Build take care of the rest, because their recommendation engine provides benchmark data guaranteed to be within 10% accuracy. There's transparent pricing, a flat $99 assembly fee, and everything's covered under one warranty plan with NZXT's excellent customer support. Orders are built and shipped within 48 business hours, and it's even available in Australia now too! So go check out NZXT's build system today at the link below. Quick bits, that's where they really get ya. Oh, they got ya this time. <laughs> Rumor mongers, the least creepy kind of monger, are rumoring that AMD will announce the Radeon RX 6600 XT on July 30th at the China Joy Tech Ep Expo number one, which is apparently a big event I've never heard of. Uh, but we've, we've never heard of it because we're in the West and the West has CES, but now China is becoming the world's dominant economic and cultural powerhouse and we've lost. So China Joy, here we come. <laughs> Facebook has halted sales of the Oculus Quest 2 after multiple reports of skin reactions, including swelling and rashes resulting from the VR headset's 
foam faceplate, also known as its Facebook. The social media giant is offering existing users a free silicone cover while they prepare a new version of the Oculus Quest 2 with 128 gigabytes of onboard storage for release next month. We don't care about the storage, we need the eyes now to the be- the gigabytes are good for your skin. Ooh. Soak in there. Got it. Apple has won patents for an under display touch ID and face ID system, meaning we'll probably see those pop up in an upcoming iPhone in 20 years. But it's worth noting that ZTE is now on their second generation of under display camera tech with the Axon 30, because once again, China number one isn't a meme anymore. China is number one. James. But you wouldn't know that because your government won't let you buy ZTE phones, will it? Oh. Huh. Fake news. The heavily anticipated Halo Infinite will hold its first technical play test this weekend with the chosen few who got invites, like us, getting the chance to play against the game's new bots. The rest of us, I mean you, can watch from the sidelines, giving us all flashbacks of when our older siblings hogged the controller. That doesn't sound fun at all. And that's why I stopped playing video games. And watch out, Neuralink, and by extension, Elon Musk. The FDA has given approval to Synchron to begin human trials of their, their Stenstrode, Sten, Stentrode brain computer interface. <laughs> the device is installed by implanting a lace of electrodes in the blood vessels of the brain, which lead to a connector on the chest that can be plugged into a computer. So paralyzed patients can send email, shop, and even do online banking just by thinking. I wonder if you can use it to order a Tesla. Oh, that would be, Ooh. that would be really insulting uh, to Elon Musk. Got him. Maybe you can use the Stentro to not buy Dogecoin. Take that, Elon. Oh, uh, he wouldn't like that. And I think it's time to not continue this episode. So come back on Friday for more tech news. Otherwise, I'll just stay in this void, a liminal space between tech and news. It's not a bad void, but I want to go home. It's got a nice background. <laughs> Pretty good boy.